Ciao ragazzi e bentornati con Dimit82 per un altro gameplay di gioco Caccia ai trofei e riprendiamo dove avevamo lasciato ieri sera Red Dead Redemption 2 Abbiamo appena salvato il bambino che era stato rapito Ora siamo ritornati all'accampamento e adesso farò un paio di missioni secondarie prima di riprendere poi <coughs> diciamo la marcia per andare a fare quello che c'è da fare allora prima andiamo a pagare la mia la mia taglia you walk along and forget what you saw, okay? All right. Guess I'll just listen for the explosion. Hey, we stay at Scram. What do we say, huh? Shit. Serves him right. Spend it in your honor, boys. Just a moment, please. Happy to help you start over. Thanks. And I want you to be 
consider myself pure. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature? Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need you, to be pure. Hello, mister. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? Okay. Read it. It's really interesting stuff. I explained, using real science, why we whites are under attack, and what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die, sir. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian, I've known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. You, sir, are a real fool. How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Yeah, I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. 
and wanting better for her than 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 me than the choices you what make what choice did i have did i ever have oh i know you had to live by your code but your code is well, it's not right has your way been right mary with you and jamie joining a bunch of crazies and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling huh is that what a pure life has gotten you begging me for help oh arthur be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, then. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Oh, wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner, I'm waiting on a lady, a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you and make my apologies to the lady It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait, right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. 
Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Oh. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur. Come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Yeah! What behavior? Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Why are you going that way? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice. Mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that? Hey, you Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it.
out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want us to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why, yes. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lane. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare. For the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh. Stop it. away from the curtain. Every day. 
I can't think of anything worse. Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris.
Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got a trap into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Good job.
Que se longa agora. Held together with bailey wire. You're damn right. That's it. Okay, settle down there. Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina? Ya para qué? 
No puedo. Ti non arrivare mai. in teoria anche questo dovrebbe permettermi di prendere un trofeo You are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Well, well, it, it is uh, 
the geometry of life, uh, the grand theory of uh, power, <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take this. Oh, I'm not much of a scientist. Oh, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What now? Well, now 
I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like Frankenstein. Like Am I missing something? Oh, uh, the switches. The bloodiest switches. Okay. Uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go, quick, please. Is my life's work. It is incredible. What? Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye.
Adesso dormiamo dopo questa missione due giorni. fanno 38 quindi mancherebbero 10 ore stiamo più larghi
красота. Че кози? Тоже не презента са какая-то. So, eh, poi posso non essere messo furto? Sì, sì. Guarda. Se va a la cagada.
There we go. Yeah. Anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please! from my pack for saving me. Oh. Here, this will help with the pain at least. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh.
They have a field day over this back in town.
said it. Anything you can spare for a blind man? Oh, no. oh <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Oh my... It is me, Cher Chatonnet, the painter. Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. It doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So oppressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! Oh, I shot on that bar! Quick, behind here! We stay behind here! We go! <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellas, you share on their bar? But of course! I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. 
We go through here. What's this? Quicky! Oh, it's that one. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. Morning to you. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of radios. Not so much. The new kinds of TV? The holy nothing. We go there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> This way, to the edge of the docks! It would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with heart and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little thing. Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get... Leave it soon. South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. <laughs> Au revoir. Hello. Good 
morning, mister. Morning, mister. Be with you momentarily. Morning. Liberty is worth every penny. Hello. How can Thanks for your assistance. Ciao Angelo, tutto a posto? Hai finito di giocare? Sì, ho iniziato verso le dieci e mezza più o meno. Ma ah, dai, abbastanza bene, dai. la volta ho preso un altro paio di trofei a tempo sono al più o meno al 15% che non è tanto però vedo che veramente prendi i trofei ogni volta che ne prendi uno la percentuale aumenta di poco quindi e parecchi Aspetta che te lo dico, aspetta eh, te lo dico in diretta. Allora è un gioco da 52 trofei, ne ho presi 10 e considera eh, che mi sembra che una quindicina sono online. Quindi se 52 togli 15 sono 37, quasi 10, è una cropole. Che comunque i tanti sono anche più che altro incentrati sulla, sulla storia, perché ogni capitolo ti dà un trofeo, quindi anche quello. Ma io ho appena finito Assassin's Creed Ballalla, il gioco più le espansioni avevano realtà e qualcosa. l'ultimo l'ho aggiornato non mi ricordo forse si fa si si e ma anche il gioco normale ne aveva una cinquantina più o meno vediamo se te lo dico perché tanto il gioco prima di questo eh, vediamo e eh si sì, ne aveva 51 quindi uno in meno Sì, sì, certo, di solito sì, quando il gioco base è molto lungo, cosa che io preferisco chiaramente. E tu invece stavi giocando offline o sempre qualche partita? diciamo in cooperativa con qualcosa dell'online Okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in time. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Okay, well, let's talk more. Ho capito. Sure thing. 
non conoscendo Sackboy come gioco non saprei cosa dirti nel senso non so proprio che tipo di gioco è Nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Ah, uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Well, I should get back to it. Ah, meglio. Con quelli che preferisco, vecchio stile. And a seat and a swig, Arthur. Uncle's drinking again and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Make a big pot. I'm starving. I like that hat, sir. I'll certainly try. Hmm? <laughs> Mr. Bell, look who it is. Mm -hmm, yes. Certo. Nei prossimi giorni butto, butto sicuramente un occhio e guarderò cos'è. Quindi parli con me o no? Grazie. Allergia maledetta. Eccola di nuovo. Ah, signor. Trying to, Mr. Morgan. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Ok, lui c'è una missione da fare. Assalto una diligenza. Perfetto. Era una delle missioni che dovevo fare. Che la stavo aspettando, che era da un po' che sembrava che doveva, sembrava che doveva e non me la dava mai. Allora, aspetta un secondo. Fammi vedere una cosa. Ok. Sì, guarda, sono... Diciamo che grazie a Dio non ho un'allergia molto alta, sì, però un po' sì, polline e un po' altre cose. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. Yeah. Allora, no probabilmente quello magari sono allergico yeah. anch'io. Who do you want? I guess not. Now? I don't need no hand holding off of Oh, come on, kid. But if we decide to do it once we've had it, look, I'm taking half the money. All right, let's get going then. He should be on his way right now. Tu devi fare un po' di missioni in questo accampamento, vedi, queste che appaiono così. E c'è scritto una tabella di marcia. Il problema è che alcune le puoi fare solo nel capitolo 2, alcune nel capitolo 3, alcune nel capitolo 4. Se ne perdi una solo il trofeo non te lo dai. Io infatti ho paura che forse nel capitolo 2 ne ho persa una. E quindi sto finendo quelle del capitolo 3, le ho fatte tutte sicuramente. Sto vedendo di fare quelle del capitolo 4 per vedere una volta fatte tutte se mi dà il trofeo o no. Però meno male che ho salvato la fine del capitolo 2, che avevo... mi mancava solo quella, quindi riprendo da lì e poi mi ritoccherà rifare il capitolo 3 e il capitolo 4. Che devo fare? Speriamo di no. 
Sì, però adesso ho un po' più nel dettaglio, diciamo, quando poi... Sì, l'ho letto poi su internet, però non avevo approfondito per quello. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. Who's a fella told you about this? It's a sound lead, I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You more than prove yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I do it again right now. Visto che mi dicevi che tu sei affiliato, sai il discorso della media di tre spettatori? Ok, ma la media, ok che delle persone devono stare un po' di tempo, ma quanto tempo devono stare? Cioè per calcolarti una media, se ci fu, banalmente se ci fosse una media di tre spettatori, cosa vuol dire che almeno sei ti devono seguire? Nei 30 giorni devono almeno esserci almeno sempre tutti i giorni tre persone. Ok. Allora, diciamo che diventa un po' più semplice quando hai tanti follower, perché tanto che se si connette uno, si connette l'altro, prima o poi come dicevi tu ieri ci arrivi. Va bene, tutto chiaro. Ma poi ho letto su internet, ma è per gli affiliati o per i partner che poi per diventare uno di loro devi far sottoscrivere, cioè devi inviare una specie di documento a quelli di Twitch chiedendo se puoi farne parte, oltre a raggiungere gli obiettivi. Cioè quindi per capirci, visto che tu sei affiliato, se tu fai tutte quelle cose compreso i spettatori di miglia di tre se poi non mandi questo tra virgolette documento rischi che poi ti perdi l'opportunità di diventarlo e quindi devi ricominciare tutto da capo Cosa intendi per perdi i soldi? Yeah, stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Ma perché dipende dal fatto che tu sei diventato un affiliato che non puoi più fare queste cose? Oppure dal momento in cui ti fai sottoscrivi questa specie di documento. Ah, ok. E quindi scusa, se uno volesse... Non è il mio caso perché io alla fine ho follower, ma non c'è nessuno che ha un abbonamento con me piuttosto che ha fatto delle donazioni. Ma quindi secondo te se uno volesse fare, tra virgolette, i soldi, conviene o non conviene diventare affiliato? Mm, ok beh penso che comunque diventare un affiliato abbia comunque un tornaconto se no se no che senso ha farlo e poi immagino che diventare partner ancora di più Ok, 
ok ma ipotizziamo che tu invii in atto necessario e diventi affiliato penso che diventare affiliato piuttosto che non esserlo ha del tornaconto e poi diventare partner sia ancora di più ho capito Perché ecco diventare partner cosa ti cambia? E perché tu dici che non vuoi diventarlo? Ci, ti dà qualche cosa negativa? Oppure in un certo senso sei obbligato a seguire, non so, regole, cose particolari? Cioè in un certo senso quindi non devi tanto farle dirette ma eh, quindi in un certo senso lavori prima e devi dedicare del tempo a loro per lavoro a tutti gli effetti. Ok, ma tutte queste cose le sai perché conosci qualcuno che lo è? Oppure che magari non so, vai su internet, queste cose sono spiegate. Ok. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much because it was a trap. Stage companies do this. Eh, ho capito, ho capito. Ok, ok, per man mano. Chiaramente diciamo che allora quello che tu consigli è arrivare fino a affiliato e poi non diventare partner. Se ho capito bene. It's all the time. To set up traps to catch fools. You and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. You're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right, see you back at camp. Aspetta, 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 ma cosa mi ha dato? Completa un'attività con un compagno in ciascun accampamento. Eh, mi sa che era quello lì che aspettavo, eh. <ride> eh bella. E eh, bella. Quindi me l'ha dato. Quindi vuol dire che li avevo fatti tutti. Yes. Um, sì, quello del Prime è gratis, sì, mi è capitato di sentirlo, ma io in verità Prime ce l'ho già gratis. <ride> cioè nel senso, ce l'ho già collegato Prime al mio utente, perché ho la fortuna che la mia ragazza è una che con Amazon acquista il mondo e quindi non ho questo, dicevo, grosso problema. Palle. Sì, diciamo che così diventa abbastanza... Allora, sono sincero, se ci fosse un bel ritorno economico e uno lo fa per lavoro, sai che lo devi dire e uno magari lo dice anche. Se invece in un certo senso sei ancora agli inizi e hai la fortuna di arrivare a quel livello, ma ciò nonostante non porta a casa tanti soldi, non portare a casa i soldi e far così diventa anche una rottura. Quindi, cioè, deve essere tutto equilibrato. Poi uno può anche decidere di non farlo, come dici tu, giustamente, perché ti obbligano a fare delle cose che uno non vuole, non lo fa. Poi sono scelte, oh.
Eh, infatti, voglia 3.000-4.000 spettatori, li faccio prima ad avere un nipote, <ride> non un figlio. No, no, ma io ti credo benissimo, guarda, chi lo sa meglio di te che sono affiliato, nel senso io, per me tutto quello che io, tra virgolette, mi viene detto, lo prendo, nel senso, come oro colato, nel senso, perché comunque io sono ignorante, alla fine, essendo da pochi mesi qua, è un mondo nuovo quindi io mi, cioè, mi fido delle quello che dico cioè ascolto e poi è chiaro che l'intelligenza delle persone sarà anche poi di, di guardare di scoprire poi tante cose immagini su internet quante cose ti possono dire poi vai a capire se sono vere o non sono vere chiaramente non sto dicendo che tu non mi stia dicendo il vero attenzione sparando un discorso generico chiaramente Eh, ma scusa il fatto di essere un affiliato non partner scusa ti danno come hai detto tu degli obblighi di qualcosa o sei tranquillo nel senso o anche tu devi fare qualcosa simile a quello che tu mi hai detto prima ah ok Thank you. I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but we can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing. Thank you. Ah, affiliato 50 e 50, cioè 50% dei guadagni va a Twitch. Oh. Eh, eh, scusa, magari sono io ignorante, non ne capisco. Eh, scusa, se tu devi dare il 50% dei tuoi guadagni... Qual è il tuo guadagno di star con loro? Perché piuttosto uno allora rimane al mio livello, tutto ciò che prendo è, è netto. Ho capito, ma tu 10 euro li dai a me, ma io non sono affiliato, quindi in teoria 10 euro sono miei. a ah, monte indipendentemente dal livello quindi ho capito non lo sapevo sta cosa però non capisco nel senso che allora io so che eh, queste cose del network così come i network marketing dovrebbero essere eh, avere la tassazione che ehm, tu fino a 5.000 euro non dichiami niente annuale se sorpassi 5.000 euro sono tassati questo meno io so. Scusa, allora quindi banalmente se adesso a me mi arriva qualcuno mi, mi vuole pagare, io non posso farlo perché non ho questo link. Ma scusa, se io metto il link, quello per Paypal, non mi dovrebbero arrivare i soldi direttamente? Ascoltare non costa niente, come si dice. 
para. No, sinceramente non ho Discord, ma infatti l'altra sera ero su Twitch e ho visto che tanti ce l'hanno, ma co- cos'è tipo c'è cioè una specie di... Non, non è tipo Skype, cioè, cioè ho capito che è una, è un, una specie di boh, app, programma che ti serve per chattare o comunque chiacchierare le live tipo. Eh no, la devo scaricare. Ma come funziona nel senso? Basta che io ti do il mio contatto, tu il tuo a me e si chiacchiera lì praticamente mentre io sto giocando in diretta è eh, così ah ok ah quello da pc ho capito e eh, la dovrei scaricare allora Però ho visto che io è una cosa che non ho capito, nel senso... Allora, io ad esempio, eh, se vai sulla mia pagina quando mi hai messo il follow, io ho messo, vabbè, il mio profilo Twitter, anche se in verità l'ho creato appositamente, ma penso che non avrò nessuna persona che mi segue perché mi sono iscritto forse un mese fa neanche. Ho Instagram, che anche lì sono da qualche mese. Ho Facebook collegato e YouTube. E poi l'ultimo che ho attaccato è quello, come ho detto, PayPal per le donazioni, no? Però più di 5 non puoi metterne. Io ho visto che c'erano persone sulle loro pagine che ne avevano molti più di 5, quindi probabilmente aumentando l'affiliato o partner ti aumenta queste cose che tu puoi mettere come link, social, avevano TikTok, avevano mille cose. E anche Discord. Presu- cioè, presuppongo sia così. Ah, ok. Ok. Ma quella cosa di Discord potrebbe essere interessante. Poi magari prossimamente lo, <coughs> lo installo. Ci scambiamo i contatti e ci facciamo una chiacchiera lì magari però devo prima capire come, come funziona. Anche perché considera che già ho perso una sera tra capire l'audio, l'altra sera per installare le cose, ovviamente io tante volte ho voglia proprio di giocare per dar tempo a fare tutte queste cose, tra le in più è un po' una rottura, però penso che questa cosa di Discord non sia una cosa molto lunga. Però il fatto vedi, di non aver già scritto il contatto sul mio sito Comunque su Twitch è un po' una rottura perché uno te lo deve chiedere appositamente, no? Però ho visto che ad esempio c'è una mia amica che è eh, una ex collega della mia ragazza, lei adesso ha tipo 900 follower, una cosa del genere, vabbè gioca online da PC, ha gli stessi 2-3 giochi sempre, infatti io no, io non lo farei mai, e mi sembra che 300-400 euro a casa al mese le porta, oltre chiaramente a lavorare normalmente e recentemente ho visto che si è rifatta rifare il sito di Twitch con diversi miglioramenti, pubblicità, vendita di merchandise, di vestiti, cioè pubblicità, cioè un po' di, un po di cose è chiaro che uno tra virgolette investe e fa queste cose se incomincia ad avere un ritorno se no Eh, ma adesso non mi metto a installarlo, capito? Mi metto, sto giocando, quindi me lo segno tra le cose da fare nei prossimi giorni e lo faccio volentieri poi. Ah, ok. Eh, aspetta, come funziona il party PlayStation? Io ti do il contatto del, del mio e tutti i colleghi? E eh, ma così in quel caso possiamo chattare vocalmente o... Eh, perché se non riesci a chattare vocalmente 
non credo, io che io mi ricordo no, non, non c'è la possibilità di chattare, c'è la possibilità di chattare in gruppo su più persone, ma la parte vocale mi sembra di no. Allora... Sì, non riesce perché mi era quello là del tempo fa, quello là del, del party, me l'avevano già proposto e si chattava in gruppo per mettersi d'accordo a fare le partite online, ma la parte audio non c'è. PC. Le cuffie sono al PC. Ma ti posso garantire che non, non va l'audio. Perché io, ad esempio, con dei miei amici mi sentivo mentre giocavamo tramite Skype. Old Signor Bronte, that horrendous snake has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Però domanda, mentre parliamo, tu senti, ma io non lo so. Eh, ma se io sento te, scusa, mentre sto giocando, la non va in diretta quello che mi dici. È una curiosità. Diciamo perché come la penso io, poi dimmi tu se sei d'accordo. Magari ci si potrebbe sentire in un altro momento dove non sono in diretta, ci facciamo due chiacchiere magari su Discord, parliamo un po' di, di diverse cose, ci confrontiamo, poi mi spieghi anche magari un po' meglio la storia del, dell'affiliato e del... Eh, eh. Sì, esatto, bravo. Eh, mi hai capito già il po'. Siamo qui per fare real contact. Che tipo di contact? Non lo so, lo troviamo quello che possiamo. Tutto che so per sicuro è che siamo andati a una party al mayor e il guest di onore è il più grande crook in città. Sono sicuro che troviamo qualcosa. Ok. Questa qua, missione qua, mi sa un po' di trappola. Eh? Gentlemen, Luca. Sono sicuro che il mayor non permette le armi a funzioni ufficiali dopo l'ultimo incidente. Luca here will take okay. you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. È quello degli sponsor interessante. Io ad esempio quella ragazza che ti dicevo aveva un suo amico, non mi chiedere il nome perché io non lo conosco, e so che ai tempi era stato anche promoter di Vodafone, comunque una persona in Twitch mi aveva detto abbastanza conosciuto, abbastanza famoso, io non so chi sia sinceramente. Sì, anche tu? Ma da Vodafone o da qualcun altro? Ah, ho capito, immagino che devi farti il culo per quattro soldi e quindi va a fare Ah, ok, quelli piccoli. Beh, quello che conosci, che ti ho detto io, l'amico della mia amica che le ha proposto Vodafone, so che lui guadagna... Almeno dicevano, mi ha detto così la mia amica, quindi prendilo con le pinze, perché sai, dire finché uno poi non vede come si dice l'estratto conto io non mi fido. Però diceva che buoni 300-400 mila euro all'anno li portava a casa. Questo è però io non so chi sia, eh. Back after we pay our respects to Signor Bronte. Come go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. pure a me però fossero anche la metà magari <ride> si sì, si sì, spiega spiega ti ascolto ah the angry cowboy 
boys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> you know. Vabbè, ce cioè ne sono, sì, ne conosco due o tre famosi estere di giochi online, casino, cose che slot machine, così. Quindi non stiamo a dire i nomi, ma posso immaginare che sia una di quelle. Okay, tutto ok. I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <ride> Ho capito. Tutto oh, chiaro. Oh, sì, diciamo che banalmente, se quello ha, fatto, ha detto una cifra alta, ma fossero anche per assurdo 100.000 euro all'anno, cioè io come lavoro 100.000 euro all'anno non li raggiungo e uno lo fa per divertirsi, quindi. Però comunque indipendentemente, fossero anche 50, 60, sono sempre soldi che porti a casa giocando, ma magari. That is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> Confederate Major in the war, <laughs> and a hero they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh. Sì, sì, ti metti, credo, eh? The Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them. Because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, eh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well... We're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Oh, none taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before. No, no, certo che no. Where you go? What uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to... Eh, ma penso che se comunque uno pian piano, mentre gioca, vuole in un certo senso monetizzare, tranne se non ti fanno delle proposte assurde, cose che non sono molto carine, o cose che non ti ispirano, ti rifiuti, sono accetti, scusa. Sì, sì, certo. Need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> mm. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> Guarda, la costanza, la voglia e la pazienza forse sono tre virtù che a me non sono mai mancate. Quindi, se queste tre valgono, penso che non ci sia nessun tipo di problema.
Hai visto qua nella missione l'italiano con lo stronzo? Speriamo eh? che lo ammazziamo forte. Allora, sono sincero, tu sicuramente nel settore li conosci, ma io non so chi siano, però ripeto, come hai detto tu, se sono sponsor e ti propongono qualcosa, perché no? Perché no? Allora, Instant Gaming ho già sentito Eneba no. Eh, ma io diciamo che online non compro praticamente quasi nulla, quindi forse per quello che magari Eneba non lo conosco. What a total bastard it is, eh? Però Instant Game sì, per nome. Sì, sì, certo, certo. Capito. Allora, sta parla e basta. Commonplace. Heathens. I need a 
me my card, sir. We borrow a lot of money and generate a lot of cash. Some came you visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. St. Louis. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks with us. We will put all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use Thank you again, my fellow adventurer. And please, do pay me a visit at my atelier. I'll try to. Well, it's so hard. Our branch alone here Did you hear him back there? The law should be a dictator? I wasn't really listening. Lucky for you. And as for that other fellow, Featherstone Chambers, what a windbag he is. He did say full of himself, too. Anyway. Evening, all. How was the show? I heard you went. <laughs> Evening, gentlemen. <laughs> Mister? Evening, folks. How do you Evening, do? ladies. Bonjour. How are you, ladies? Cherie. How's it going? Sì, sì, ci sono, tranquillo. Magna del mondo. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah, we'll see you and me cool off. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know every Miller? I don't know. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes, we'll find out what. Well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Is 
everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Chip and beat him. They will not have standards slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. for the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting.
or I will have to call security. Bonjour, monsieur. Can you leave me alone, please? Yeah, yeah. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Oh, it's nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls 
Please, Mr. Morgan, they're dragging me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. No reason. All right, well, I should be getting on. Get some well, just go on. That's for sure. <laughs> Eccoci. Hai mangiato? la vita questo ringraziamento il caffè e il latte a luna di notte ma che dormi dopo ma ah, vabbè e allora fare lo spuntino dell'una non di mezzanotte ti capisco qualche, fino a qualche mese fa io bevevo caffè come se non ci fosse un domani e effettivamente quando anche lo bevevo adesso vado a letto fra mezz'ora non mi fa nessun effetto adesso invece lo sto bevendo molto meno eh, lo sento di più cioè non perché non dormo eh, però eh, c'è una piccola differenza diciamo che più ne bevi più ti fa meno effetto diciamo lo bevi magari più che altro per un discorso di sapore
and the war is between races. If you want to die, then go ahead. But I want my race, morning. the master race, to live forever. And I am prepared to prove my mastery by force, if necessary. It's kill or be killed out there in nature. Always has been. Trees kill each other. Flowers kill each other. Even sheep kill each other. So let's stop pretending. It's time we was more like sheep. It's time to kill! I don't think you need to be quite so close. Far. Cosa fa? Cosa fa? Ma tu sei scemo. Ma tu sei scemo il cervello. <laughs> Bello che ho schiacciato il tasto quello per, per salire sul cavallo. Ha aggredito la signora. Ah, oh, che pazienza! Che pazienza! <ride> adesso non mi ricordo dove cacchio avevo salvato spero non prima dell'altra missione se non c'ho voglia di farla tutta vabbè che anche rifacendola potrei puntare a loro adesso sapendo cosa devo fare però vediamo Pensa che poi c'è un, un trofeo che devi prendere dove dice che devi essere ricercato da diversi posti della mappa. No, che palle la devo rifare. Ah, oh, voglio morire. Vabbè, la rifarò. Adesso salto tutti i dialoghi, me lo facciamo più veloce. Che palle però. Allora, ho dovuto rifarla dopo, sperando che non faccio cagare. In teoria sì. Sì, però praticamente da quello che leggevo su internet c'è scritto che le missioni secondarie alcune ti vengono fuori se... Sì. Perché allora ho visto che non voglio spoilerarti. Ma da quello che ho capito sembrerebbe che andando avanti con le missioni tu perdi diversi tuoi compagni, magari qualcuno di loro ti dava qualche missione secondaria, primo. Oppure a seconda anche della tua percentuale di, eh, diciamo, bontà. Se non sei tanto alto con la bontà alcune missioni non te le propone. E quindi per quello che in teoria tu conviene fare tanto abbastanza prima. Brante will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Signor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know, uh, respect. Well, say, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done.
I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint-Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out about Cornwall. Champagne, sir. Ah, get me a bloody drink, will Good you? Good evening, sir. A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know what? Great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> I used to be a great beauty, and an even greater wit. Time. What a total bastard it is, huh? Then again, I always loved bastards. The real ones, I mean. <laughs> well, luck. Hugely overrated. I tried it enough. Well, I, I tried both. <coughs> you know, bastards and marriage. I even married a bastard. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Oh my god. I should not have got up this morning. I, I, I need to go and sit down and have a little rest. I'm just gonna... Is anybody listening to me? like a drunken harlot but let me be very clear young man i am a drunken harlot <laughs> yeah i can shake that why hello this is quite a town that you have here mr jameson oh i, I don't live here i was here for the folk oh you play Oh, it's, uh, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of others. <laughs> <laughs> Not whipping, sir, working, and besides, my vice is between me and my maker. I keep winning. Every gambler says that, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> yes, I know, but like I said, the next big tournament, which I will not be attending, is for a game too rich for my blood. I may be a knave, but I am a sensible knave. That's so? Oh, sure, I'm not a wealthy man. I run a prison. The old riverboat tournaments are for card sharks and rich fools. A really big stakes game attracts oil men and such, like, from all over. My pockets are not deep enough for that. <laughs> you are a wise man. I'm a conservative man, at least. The fact is, since the war, the government has done an awful job of preserving law and order. The Mr. Jameson. Oh, I agree, Major. Well, at my prison, we are doing the best to remedy that failure. You know, my friend works in the Caribbean. He faces real rebellion. If we don't act decisively, we will endure the same here, and all of us, all of these garden parties and civility, they will be doomed. I believe in civilizing the masses, sir. But the first order of civilization is order. Law and order. I agree. Without law and order, we will have anarchy. But with too much law and order, won't we have dictatorship or worse? <laughs> Monarchy. The law should be a dictator. That is the American way. I thought the American ideal was liberty. <laughs> sure. Liberty under the law. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> Major Crowley, Mr. Chambers, I must go speak to someone for a second. What a vulgar toad of a man. But that riverboat sounds interesting. 
Don't you have anything better to do? I'm only joking with you. Well, Evening, thank folks. the Lord for that. How's it going with you? I can't lie. The Lord's blessed me. What on earth is wrong Evening with you? Evening all. Bonjour. How are you all doing? Evening, Hello, ladies. Hello. The Hello. truth Hello. is, since the war, Bien, bonjour. the country's doomed itself. I disagree. The war? The war was 30 years ago. I was just a boy. And since then, we have fought more wars. And we will fight more again. Now, the country tore itself apart. It's a little unnerving the way you keep... And what do you think, sir? <laughs> exactly. This man is a realist. I cannot believe I am hearing this. Excuse me. Sometimes, sir, the innocent are the damned. Enjoy your evening. I must go see my wife. Good evening. Good evening. Good day. How are you all doing? Evening, folks. Chérie. How do you do? Evening, gentlemen. Why, hello. Good evening. Hello there. Martin Art is all very well, but my daughter could do better. Oh, you're not such a Philistine as all. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. Quite the gentleman. Clearly not the list of small beer. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Hello there. You walked me away from history. Both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty, but somehow I am not free to vote. <laughs> you are Look me in the eye and tell me in all honesty that I am not the equal of any man you've ever met. You're Stop preaching again, me like a piece Mrs. Of meat. Whitlow. And you're burying your head in the sand again, sir. <clears throat> Don't blame me for God's mistakes, if they were mistakes. <laughs> What do you mean? Women are inferior to men, madam. It's not my fault. It's a fact. Undeniable. Demonstrable. What I is will it? Not Can deny I help it you? Simply because of fashion. I'm intrigued, sir, to hear your arguments. I am your clear superior. You're different, but you're neither my better nor my inferior, sir. Okay, madam. I will not prove it by publicly thrashing you. Stop oogling. Uh, well, I, you're stronger than me, sure. But as civilized beings, haven't we moved past that? <laughs> Apparently not. Good evening to you, sir. I will go find some other people to threaten to hit me, if that's okay with you. Well, I'm good, fellas. Oh, how do you do? How are you? I um, must apologize for Manos be back there. Nice fellow, but his views are a little, well, uh, feminine. <laughs> apologize to your wife, not me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> How are you all doing? Bonjour. You know? Bonjour. Good evening, gentlemen. May we see you? I heard you went. Hello, <laughs> mister. Ooh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign oh, me sir. up for French lessons. What? This cabaret show at the Theater Rumour. It's jolly fun. How's it going? I'm okay. Evening, gentlemen. May bonjour. How are you all doing? Evening, you? folks. How are you Hello. all doing? Yeah. Really is a beautiful thing. Hmm. I got it. 
from Mr. Wasp. He's the finest milliner in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. How do you do? Ma'am? <laughs> Still admiring my hat, I see. No? Uh, not really. A man can appreciate fine ladies' millinery. There's no shame in it. Sure, Dad. Well, enjoy the rest of your evening. How do you do? Mm -hmm. How do you do? Good evening. Don't do well. Sir? Well, how? Can I help how you, sir? Thanks. Well, I'm Wonderful. not quite sure. You Thanks for asking. Albert Daniels. Bring Tilda. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. Well, it's uh, nice to meet the both of you. New suit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, uh, no, it's a new shirt. Are you new in town? Uh, yes. Uh, I come from the west. I mean, the north. Why are you looking at me like that? The northwest. Okay. I came down from Washington myself many years ago. This town gets to a man undermines even the best of us. I'm doing my best, sir. Truth is an absolute sign. Don't you think? Sì, praticamente in questo ho capito che devo fare quattro cose. Sto cercando di capire chi sono le persone con cui farle, ma non vorrei che sia qualcuno di questi discorsi e poi lo perdi. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm an American. Yes, but what do you do? Oh, um, well, I'm in between jobs at the moment. Oh, of course, of course. You shall be too, sir, if you don't sharpen up your morality. I'm trying, sir, I'm trying. I'll try harder, much harder. What would you like me to do? Hit the mayor myself? Impudence. I see you still got that. But it takes more than a steady line and insults to succeed in That's newspapers. That's a strange look you're giving me. At least in my... Good evening. Freak. How do you do? Man, hello. Hi there. Why, hello. Mm. Good evening, sir. Did you hear back there? The law should be a dictator? Is there some sort of here? Religion. I'm from Quebec. But I left many moons ago. And you... <laughs> <laughs> no, I came down from New York for a job. So hard these days to find men of true morals. Especially in journalism. Indeed, it is. And you certainly won't find many here. How do you think they got so rich? Well, anyway, <laughs> enjoy your evening. Now, swords. Under, leather... Even make a I'm sorry, but you can't be serious. That war is oh, a beef struggle. I had to get away from that awful major crowd pontificating on law and order. You should see my prison. That's what law and order looks like. Hopefully as a visitor, not as an inmate. <laughs> Indeed. Well, enjoy the rest of your evening, so. Well, have you considered Lemoyne National Bank? Oh, I need a big bank, sir. We borrow a lot of money and generate a lot of cash. Hello, ma'am. Some nervous yeah, small town bank could finish us in a bad small year. Small town? <laughs> we handle more cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks with us. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use a lot of cash, and we help finance half the reconstruction projects after the war. We love big clients, and we love cash. Our branch alone here in town has more cash reserves on site than any bank in the entire country outside of Wall Street and San Francisco. Well, perhaps we could discuss it further one day, Mr. Knightley. When it comes to bankers, I drive a hard bargain, but I'm very fair in business. I would at least like the opportunity to show you our business. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my fiance. Of course. And congratulations. A wife is a wonderful thing. How's your evening? Met some interesting people. What about you? Did you speak to the mayor? I'm still looking for him. Well, Thank you. Look at the eyes. Oh, yes. What are we evening, doing? sir? Preserver, sir? No. Evening, folks. Hello there. How are you all doing? How do you do? Oh, my oh. night with the shiny champagne bottle. A question for you, sir. Are you an appreciator of art by any chance? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Would you? Maybe Why you can you help resolve a debate my friends and I were having. Are you familiar with the work of Charles Chatonet? Oh, yes. All too well. <laughs> How do you like it? He's, uh... I'd describe him as... Complex and passionate. Exactly. Why are you standing That is how I feel. Thank you, sir. Debate closed. I'll leave you to enjoy your evening. Keep the left foot. How are you, ladies? Shay. How you doing? Just lovely. Thank you. That's the spirit. All the best. Good evening, ladies. I'm going to feel like I'm a regal. I'm going to feel like I'm a regal. Oh, hmm. How are you, ladies? What? Well, let's go to the other side. There's something that will save life. At least I know for sure. Good evening. Well, how are you? Evening, gentlemen. Hello. Sir. How are you doing? Sir. Anyway, I heard that Judith Hawksville has taken a lover. Of course she has. <laughs> That's not the interesting part. What's interesting is that her lover is a foul. You okay? <laughs> Ci provo. Non prometto niente. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. Hello. The fashion is Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that uh, that you do? I'm uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, that me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable, and a seat in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. Give me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Evening all. Hello, dear. How are you? Well, how are you? Gentlemen. May bonjour. Evening, folks. Bonjour. How are you all doing? Evening, folks. Hello. How are you all doing? Well, how? Good evening. May bonjour. Good evening. So righteous and know it all. Excuse me? Oh, not you. Hector Fellows. I thought you overheard our conversation. He pays me to be the editor of that newspaper, but he pokes his nose in it every turn. He thinks morality is unbiased, but it is quite the opposite. I'm sorry. I'm great. Uh -huh. Evening, folks. Bonjour. How's it going? As well as can be expected. Sir, well, how? How there? How, how do you do? How are you? I 
I apologize for that woman, sir. The last thing she needs is more champagne. Hey, if she's having a good time. I'm not sure she is, sir. <laughs> well. Evening, sir. Having fun? Darling. I'm trying. I'm bored out of my mind. When are the uh, fireworks going to start? I've no idea. Uh, all right. Well, try to enjoy yourself. How are you all doing? Evening, ladies. Bien bonjour. Why are you hassling me? How do you do, ma'am? Of course, Hi I'm married, Miss Tweedy. But marriage is more business than romance. And you're romantic, are you, Mr. Oxman? Always have been. A true romantic. A dream of... Why don't you let me show you someday? And you think my cousin would appreciate that demonstration? Your cousin is a cold woman. I'm a very lonely man. And I am more than someone's blanket against the night's chill. Believe me, Mr. Hawksbill. Please stop pestering me. Madam. I am not the shallow cat I pierce. I love that woman. Good luck with that. I really do love this tweet. It isn't just a champagne talk. Have you ever married the wrong woman, sir? No. <laughs> but I ain't married the right one either. <laughs> well, I've made quite a habit. How are you doing? Shannon! può neanche parlare con questa uh. How are you ladies? Bonjour. How's it going with you? As well as can be expected. Evening all. Why hello. Evening ma'am. Thank you again for the champagne. You're welcome. So, how do you know the mayor? I don't really. It's just another party, and I get invited to parties. Ah, I see. Oh, very boring, really. There's the need for copious amounts of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Evening, gentlemen. How you doing? I'm doing very well. Good evening. Good to see Manners ain't dead yet. Gentlemen. Hello there. Good evening. May bonjour. Vediamo se qua c'è qualcuno. A me non sembra che ci sia qualcuno, però. Infatti non c'è nessuno. Cioè che c'è uno che ti regala un oggetto. Chi è che ti regala un oggetto qua? Howdy. Gentlemen. Oh, howdy. 
Ah, mi sono stufato, dai. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk. Yeah. Hey, say you and me cool off. Hello there. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. I know. <clears throat> How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got. Well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him as men like ours. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Taken care of the telephone and keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, Miss A final warning. Now get out of my sight.
Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. So here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. <ride> vedi mi dà l'argento non mi dà l'oro perché dice durante la festa verso da bere l'ho fatto ammira lo stile di un invitato che la tipa col cappello l'ho fatto accetta il regalo e salva la vita salva la vita gliel'ho fatto il tipo accetta il regalo mi mancano di capire dov'è vabbè più avanti approfondiremo tanto queste missioni alla fine del gioco si possono rifare tutte per cercare di prendere i 70 oro famosi you settling back in? I tell you I what, like it here. little miss romance lots of places to explore Well, right. don't explore About too what? far. Abandoning. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, I'll go after this coffee and beer. They told me there's a whole dream about people in the world. Sì, non è che ti puoi tornare indietro, praticamente da quello che ho letto le missioni del gioco sono più di 100, te per avere uno dei trofei più lunghi del gioco devi fare di tutte le di 70 missioni almeno gli ori e quindi decidi tu con i quali missioni rifare chiaramente magari non fai quelle particolarmente lunghe o complicate immagino che 70 non siano poche però beh, io almeno studio prima com'è la missione la prima volta la faccio con molta calma e poi la volta dopo diciamo tra virgolette diciamo così approfondisco per semplificare Che ora ti alzi la mattina? Basta, non l'aiuto più quello. Non mi ha aiutato, non mi ha cambiato niente. Beh sì, tranne se non sei un notturno come me che malgrado mi alzo presto, dormo poco e abitudine faccio così. Ma 
cosa fai di lavoro? Se posso chiedere sia chiaro. Se voglio farmi i fatti tuoi. fai turni o fai giornata I'll be with you in just a moment good on you get a fresh start Hmm? Yes? No, io lavoro in ufficio come impiegato, quindi diciamo giornata di lavoro normale verso le sette e mezza più o meno mi alzo e la sera quando vado a letto presto si fanno, si fanno le due se una volta qualcosa di più dipende poi mi gira verso le sei e mezza sette arrivo a casa eh sì dai più o meno gli orari sono quelli No, io grazie a Dio no, perché avendo, facendo giornata straordinaria di solito non le faccio, quindi non avevo quello, almeno quello, cavolo, ci mancava pure lo straordinario, schiattavo. No, noi grazie a Dio gli straordinari non le chiedono, anzi non vogliono proprio. Poi dipende dai periodi, alcune volte c'è più lavoro, altre volte meno, ma... Chi è questo qua? Orgen and Wasp. Un momento, per favore. Questo è estremamente delicato. facendo informatico è una software house hey. May I help you? Well, I, I don't know. I met you, remember? At that party? Oh, yes. You saved my life. Oh, I am eternally yours, Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? No. I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want... Allora una volta ero anche capace, però diciamo che la mia azienda è un po' particolare perché usa, non so se conosce, AS400 che gestisce la parte di magazzino e contabilità. 
io seguo più la parte di contabilità, ho colleghi che seguono più la parte del magazzino, poi nell'azienda sempre da me ci sono i programmatori veri e propri e poi ci sono i tecnici che si occupano di sistemare software e hardware. Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Well, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple <laughs> of questions. Esatto. I need at least scalp. 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Palla queste missioni così che devi raccogliere degli oggetti. Sono quelle che odio. Penso che di questi non ne ho neanche uno. Vabbè. Almeno se avrò voglia di fare la missione la faremo più avanti. Non so se poi questo è incluso nel 100%, ma secondo me sì perché te la vedi come missione secondaria. Questa qua da punto di domanda, non so cosa sia. Andiamo a vedere. Questi cavoli di cretini che continuano ad attraversare la strada guarda, non li sopporto. a provocarmi così io li seguo e poi mi aggrediscono in tanti e visto che c'è una banda di ragazzini che fanno così I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, 
Uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We do have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator, we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to post with Buongiorno. Hello. Che non mi ha segnato il posto? Giusto non abbiamo un problema. Aspetta, eh. Sono qua a questa missione, ho paura che me la perdo.
perché non è ancora abilitato, capito? Tutto fra un paio di giorni, quindi un po' l'abiliterà più avanti. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreed. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you... All of us will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make 
him look like a prince, sir? There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you, from Toad. Prince, uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Buonanotte, si metto tanto anch'io fra un quarto d'ora e venti minuti nel letto. Buonanotte. So, la prossima. Se ci sei nei prossimi giorni ci sentiamo. Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. I want these with you. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his... Own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Looks like there's still an open seat, sir. Are you joining us? Ma'am? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Your face looks familiar. Ah. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. 
Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. No, I'm gonna call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair king. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. 
Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look! There's your friend! My friend is not a no-good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation! There he is! Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you! There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut! There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get out of here!
this ain't my show! Silly me, I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Vamos a perder mi tiempo, capítulo. Me debo dar de afar, no puedo perder tiempo, capito. We need to get out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know, this ain't my show. Silly me, I clean forgot to bring my gun to the man, we gotta go, come on. You're a fool, about the alligators. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.
gotta get through here. Hola. Where are you going? Hang on a second. Look out, do you? There's some... I'm up with this one. I can tell. I ain't here to cause trouble. Whatever you come looking for ain't here. Clear these streets. Best be leaving now. Nobody misses with the old pistols. My friend! You there! Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milk sop there, but tis no matter. Can you help me? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head. Like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Ready? Aim. Fire! <laughs> you got my good shot! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please! What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly! Please, put us out of our misery. Don't think too much about it. Oh, he got it! There it goes! <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brain! Excellent! Fine shooting! Here, sir! Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. 
I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there are two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Oh, you see, are too <clears throat> hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a writer called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis? On a riverboat? Oh, okay then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get out of Saint Denis and hand you some sazzle. Well, hello there. Come on. Perfect. <coughs> Ragazzi, grazie mille per avermi seguito. Ci vediamo domani per un altro gameplay di gioco. Caccia ai trofei Red Dead Redemption 2. Ciao a tutti e buonanotte.